Hey, what's going on? This is Disco Doggy. I'm running into a lot of uh, imps today, as usual. Um, also, imp and wicked soul, as you could see here. So I decided to bring out the frost fur rat. Um, great pet against wicked soul and imp combo. Especially with the darkness, when they try to throw in a graves like this. Um, this player I played quite a bit. They don't generally play that well, like, like right there. Um, why would you do that? Uh, I wouldn't have done that, but you know, teach their own. So let's do that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that right there, but uh, I, I could have waited until this pet came in. So let me do this. Let me take it with my jungle beak. Um, let's get a little bit of a heal here. So hope so maybe we can crit. Well, we're not going to be able to, um, we're not going to be able to stop Graves before Graves gets the, uh, consumed corpse off, but the good news is Graves didn't do that much damage. Ooh, nice. Okay. I'll let you, I'll let you do that. I'll let you kill this bird. Because I'm going to come right back in with my Frost Fur Rat. And I'm gonna put the darkness up. All your heals are gimped. You can't really, you can't really bring in either. Well, you can bring in your uh, undeads. This time I am going to take you out unless you swap. If you don't swap, you're gonna get hot, hit hard. Three, please. Oh, only two. Could have used the third, but oh well. All right. You gonna heal? Is that what you're gonna do? Are you gonna heal? Are you going to heal in the darkness? Well, I guess I healed in the darkness. So. Let's put up our shield. If the imp comes back in, I still might be able to kill him. Probably, n no, not now, because this only hits for like 92, per 92 a pop or something like that. Uh, 91. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill the imp. Oh, I got a triple one. I didn't really need it. Okay. Cool. Pretty sure that's game over. Sure, Graves can heal right here. But, um... Darkness is going to be up. And I'm going to be able to come in and stun him. So... I think we're going to... Oh, crit sealed deal. I mean, I guess that takes any um, question away as as to whether or not Twilight is going to miss. My Twilight seems to miss a lot when it's time for the kill shot. Seriously, it does. It's bad luck. All right, let's let's try a different team to counter that one. Let's try let's try Vengeful Porky Pet. A lot of people don't play. Vengeful Porky Pet. I mean, not many people play this on my battle group. What else do I got going here? Let's try with the Leviathan Hatchling. Because I love that pet. And it's going to be good. It's it's. It, remember how I used to like it before? It's still really good because now this, this Primal Cry is works very well against imps. So if I start with an imp, I want Primal Cry. I mean, I'm gonna start with my Leviathan Hatchling. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna put a pet in this first slot that can make life tough for the imp. Let's see, let's see this, in case they gate me out. I don't mess with Nightmare too much. Oh, you know what would be really good What I that I don't have? 
is this. This would be really good against healing teams because I can I can call darkness. How fast is it? I'm 295 speed. I'm not too excited about that. Okay, let's stick with an aquatic. We definitely need something that's going to hurt undead. We have that here. Now we need something to hurt humanoids. Um, I wonder if there's anything that has nightmare that's strong versus humans. Uh, that has dark flame. Could do that. Oh, that's interesting. It's not a good team though. It's not a very good team. Let's look for something strong that has dark flame. I'm just look, looking for something that cuts down on heals. Well, this is a double beast team. I don't know. I don't know that this is a good idea. Let's just try it just for the hell of it. And it's not faster than the amp, so. What's what's gonna what's gonna make like if, if I start okay if I'm facing an imp and a wicked soul and I start with the Leviathan hatchling if they play the wicked soul and I primal cry I'm good if they play the imp and I primal cry and they don't swap me I'm good but if they swap me I want something to come in that's gonna I, 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 I want my snail. My, th there's a reason I've been playing the muck slug so much. Look at this. I want this snail. Didn't I already make this team? No, I had this a similar team, but I had a broom. Um, and these are the counters I love. These are the these are the pets I love. You know, there's there's probably other things I could play, but these are the ones that I enjoy playing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna stick with it. All right, I took a long time there deciding what I was gonna do. I still didn't really explore the dark flame option very well. I got distracted. So I, the reason I got distracted is because I was thinking, well, you know, let's say that the that the imp gates me out. In comes a lost nether pup. Oh, well, whoop de doo it does a shadow shock on it. Or a dark flame that only stops healing from two out of the nine. It's just the imp's going to heal back out of that shadow shock. So, um, Let's see. Hopefully I get that same player because it's kind of fun. I was beating this. Oh, oh. Alrighty, same deal here. If you don't gate me, I'm going to put the primal cry up. If you do gate me, I'm going to put the um, quicksand up. Either way, I'm fine with that. So I think what they're probably going to do is they're going to bring in their blaze hound and bring in their blaze hound at the right time so that it can't get hit with the primal cry, but they've already... They've already passed that, so um, I guess they're not going to bring their blaze hound in at all. They're just going to proc the racial here, and then they're going to go to town on my uh, on my two backline pets here, which is okay. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure. Well, everybody's still slow. Let me go and put this up right now. Okay, if that's, if that's what you want to do. Okay. So I maybe don't need this quicksand here, but somebody's going to swap in. Or, or they're not going to swap in. Okay. Yeah, because it would have been dumb to swap out, but I should have expected more from this player right here because they tend to know what they're doing a little more than Nestor does. All right, well, I could continue to take weak damage there, but instead I'll make my Porky Pet faster than everybody. 
Am I going to have enough time to do that before I get gated out? I don't think I am. It's only going to go up to 302. So you can gate me right here. Sorry, I say, you know I say gate for swap. When I say gate, I mean swap. All right. Oh, could have used that. Shoot. I am faster than the amp, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I'm all right. Oh yeah, one for the good guys. And by good guys, I mean me. Okay, see what I mean? See what I mean? The last couple times I've made a video, I'm like, oh, it's amps all the time. And then there's no amps. And it's amps all the time. <laughs> um, let's, go, let's go back. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but. What was that team that I just played with the Frost for a Rat? I wonder if, no, it can't be. They can't be the same person. I was going to be like, I wonder if this person has like multiple imps with different names. And so like they're making me think that it's different people in the queue. I wonder if this queue is popping so hard just because there's like one dude with three imps that plays all the time. One's named Allegra, one's named Nestor B, and one's named... Whatever that just was. Mandaria. No, oh yeah, that wasn't Mandaria. Um, okay. Anyways. Um, dude, where's my Sproutling? I could try to have some some fun with Nim Darkness. I don't think so. This team's six and five. I was just, I was tired of missing in Darkness, and I'm like, well, back up. That wasn't the order. I, I was looking for a way to use this pet, and um, I was like, Nimbus, how could I use Nimbus? Totally not the best use of Nimbus ever, but I was so sick of missing in darkness, especially against Twilight teams, that I was like, if I put my Nimbus up in my darkness, I'll never miss. And yeah, but it's also not a very good team. <laughs> it's like, well, well, I don't miss, but I only win six out of 11 battles, but I don't miss. Okay. Is, I already ran this team, right? Um, let's run it again. Stick with it. No, because I'm only doing Disco's 3. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for? Oh, let's try to come up with something more interesting. So Dark Flame. Wait, what was I even using this for? It was a... Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm backtracking on my thoughts. I'm, I'm going to end up at the same place. I was like... Yeah, I can put this guy in, but then what's that? What's gonna happen? Nothing. It's not gonna be a big deal. But if the muck slug comes in, he can slow you down. All right. What else? Um, let's go. I feel safer with dark with the frost fur rat right now. Is there a good undead darkness pet? I don't want to go back to the bone serpent, man. That's just, uh, that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. We could go totally goofy. What's this? This is, this is good versus healing. Not faster than a wicked soul. Um, it's going to be faster than that blaze hound that I just saw. Here, let me run this team. Um, nah, I'll run this. Dorky Dragon. 4 now. It's amazing. It's undefeatable. Of course not. Mm. I should have tried harder. I should have thought more about it. All right. This is a liability right here. It's like, you know you're facing these people. 
don't pick a team and just be like, oh, whatever. Okay, let's see. You gonna swap me out? Okay. Now this isn't good against, it's not, not faster than you, but it's faster than these guys. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna? Gonna dodge? Oh, good, he didn't dodge. I thought, boy, would my face have been red. All right, let's bring in this dragon to hit you with, uh, with darkness. Oh, you're giving it up, huh? You're like, ah, oh, I've had enough of that dragon. All right. That could have went worse. You're going to swap me here. And then let's not pretend that he's blinded because he's an elemental. He's totally not blinded right now. Oof. Okay, I guess you're waiting for me. Nice call. Is this dragon going to be useful against anybody? Still got 367 health. It can take a hit. I'm going to bring in this guy. I don't, I'm not feeling good about this right now. I'm not feeling good about this. Uh, you're going to swap me out probably. No. Okay. All right. I think you're going to swap your imp. Nice. I'm not going to die on the back line if you swap me right here. Okay. Now we got this. Yikes, I won. Or maybe not, maybe not. Shoot. Oh, this is bad. I'll tell you why it's bad. Wait, what does that hit for? 414. Oh, this is really bad. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. Here's why I thought it was bad. I thought that this guy was going to be able to go under. Um, but no, it's fine. Uh, because he did go under. But I'm going to be able to waste two turns of it right now. I can do my crouch right here. And then finish you off with this. Okay. I feel validated. Because cause when I say stuff like that, I'm like, oh, there's imps all the time. And I'm like thinking that people aren't going to believe me. And proof. There's finally proof. Three imps in a row qualifies as imps all the time. <laughs> okay. So... I think that went about as well as it can be. I was a little bit iffy on that last team, Dorky Dragon. 5-0 um, and o now, but I wouldn't expect it to stay 5-0. and o. I think this Nightmare Whelpling is just a little bit too slow to... Uh, I mean, it's a, it, I feel like it's a liability. And um, that was a really close battle. And I think there was a point where the imp could have hit high or low against my dragon, right? And then it hit low, and I got to attack it. So I'm going to call that one an RNG win for me because 
Yeah, I think that was the deciding factor in the battle. Let's say... I don't know. I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to look at the, the logs or whatever. But may, maybe if the imp kills my dragon right there, I don't win. But anyway, still trying to come up with interesting ways of countering these. Um, I'm using the frost for a rat a lot again. Not because I think it's the greatest again. It's imps, it is a good imp counter. Not the greatest because it hits it weak. But it's a uh, it's a good versus imp slash wicked soul. Which has come up the last week or so quite a bit. So anyways, that's, that's where I'm at now. I think, uh, I think I'm good. So thanks for watching this short video, Discos 3.